In this video, we are going to cover a little bit more of the impact of cannabis on you, more the ingredients of cannabis, the rate of THC in the compound, what the different types of cannabis do to you. So edibles, smoking, oils, that kind of stuff. And it's helpful to know these things. Okay. Cannabis has only been legal, at least in this country. For, I don't know how many years, not many right now. And we are totally disconnected from the reality of what's going on with the cannabis. We, we have some insights. I did a panel with a medical expert on this stuff who said doctors are flying blind. They claim to know, or the cannabis companies give them some information about the quantity and the levels of the THC and all that kind of stuff. But really we're still flying blind. As I mentioned in the previous video, uh, the cannabis we're smoking now is super genetically modified chronic. It's not the cannabis that most of us are familiar with. So I hope you find this helpful. Cannabis use comes with certain risks, but there are ways to lower the risks of use. Use small amounts of cannabis at first until you know how it will affect you. Always use cannabis in a safe place and with people you trust. Cannabis products have different strengths depending on the amount of THC in them. Safer use of cannabis is knowing how to choose low potency products. Any product with more than 10 milligrams of THC per gram will have a red icon to show the presence of THC and a yellow health warning label. The numbers for THC and CBD represent the amount of those compounds in the product as sold. Dried cannabis will have lower numbers since it hasn't been activated by heating. The total THC and total CBD numbers represent the amount of the active compound when the product is ready for consuming. Edibles, oils and capsules have already been processed for consumption, so the total numbers will be the same as the overall numbers. The best choices are cannabis products with total THC numbers below 20%. Concentrated products with 50 to 90% total THC are best avoided. If you choose to use cannabis, it's best to think of ways to keep your use low. I had the idea that I should try to reduce my use or I'm not going to smoke at school or I'm only going to smoke when at parties or I'm going to hide my weed in this cupboard so that I won't get it or I'm going to give it to a friend so I won't have access to it. All the attempts I made to control my using just did not work. Controlling my use was never an option for me. As I entered recovery, I started to learn that I needed a new solution. Oh, there I go again, giving a little insight. So there's not much for me to add to that. I would just say that when you find yourself craving, so for me at a certain point, I could not smoke bad weed. It would, I would, it would make me sick. I'd smoke it if I had to, but I yearned desperately and I sought out the best possible weed I could get my hands on. I stopped before legalization, so it was difficult to get really quality, high concentrated weed, but I fought uh, and spent lots of money tracking it down. And that's because I needed to fry my brain as most, as best as I possibly could. I had to numb out, I had to avoid life. And so this video is just bringing our attention again to the intensity and the power of the strains. And knowing those things is probably a good idea being careful. Again, young people in particular are at risk of psychosis from the really potent strands and all, often any strand, really, if you have a genetic predisposition to those things. Anyhow, just something to consider. And as I was saying here, I couldn't do anything without getting high and I had no hope. And I could find other ways to navigate the things that I was using weed to navigate. Some groups of people should not use cannabis at all. The earlier in life you start to use cannabis, the higher the risk that you will develop health problems. It is best to avoid cannabis before age 25. People who are pregnant or breastfeeding should not use cannabis because cannabinoids can interfere with normal brain development. Finally, certain people are more likely to develop problems from cannabis use. For people with a personal or family history of Just got to pause it again there. I fit that bill perfectly. History of mental illness, history of alcoholism, both sides of the family. You know, that's an important thing to know. Because this video was done in a clinical setting, again, with the Center for Addiction and Mental Health, the biggest mental health hospital in Canada, they have to put in all these little sayings of don't drive and 
be safe. And, and sometimes I find that patronizing, but I guess it is important for people that are coming to this from an outside perspective or people who aren't entrenched in addiction or who aren't heavy users. Obviously, this information can be helpful for you. I just want to point out sometimes the information is obvious, uh, although it has to be said. So I hope you found this video helpful. Uh, we'll close it out here and we'll return in the next video. Number four, which is called is my cannabis use a problem? That's video number four. We'll finish number three here. Because cannabis can affect your coordination, judgment, and motor control, you should never drive a car or operate machinery while under the influence. The effects of cannabis last at least six hours, but could last longer depending on the person, the product, and the method of consumption. For more information on lowering the risk of cannabis use, Consult Canada's lower risk cannabis use guidelines. Okay. Hope you found that helpful. One thing I would just add here is weed or getting high, drinking, partying. It's supposed to be fun. Okay. For people like me, we took it overboard. It can't be fun anymore. But if that is you, then all the power to you. I wish you the best. And for those of us that it's not true for, we really, again, have to take that hard look in the mirror and come to terms with the reality of our situation. I already mentioned it, but we'll be back with number four, is my cannabis use a problem? Please share this video with someone you think might find it helpful. Like it, comment, and even perhaps subscribe to this channel. I wish you all the best. Take it easy. Peace out. I am very grateful that you watched to the end of this video. Please click one of the boxes to watch more of our content and otherwise have a great day. Peace out.